Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general your general love reading for uh, uh, June. <laughs> We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. Guys, it is time stamped, okay? So if you click in the description bar below, See where it says start reading, click on that, and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reader. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle all of the up. As I always say, <clears throat> I do apologize. As I always say, please just take what resonates, okay, and leave what doesn't. There you go. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your situation, you can. You know, you can always stick around and sometimes there could be, you know, just messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. If I need to clarify these cards, you'll see extra cards when I start. So we're just going to take these in and I will be back. Hello, Pisces. Welcome. Um, um, let's start your reading. <laughs> Uh, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up has this been your side uh, the person is in over here but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most all right and of course as I always say just a quick note you know if this um you know if this isn't your story if you don't pick up on your story you know you can stick around and sometimes there just could be just messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you okay and of course just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality all right so just looking at this situation for you with the justice card there in your thinking position this is definitely you see in this person this relationship this connection this situation as justice being served and I feel like that's definitely coming from just your past past relationship or your past experience where you've just been kind of disappointed even maybe just with dating as well just with dating there's a, a a level of maybe disappointment that you had and it feels like with this person this person is causing you to feel like you know now I'm I'm you know getting what I deserve ultimately because they match you in some way <clears throat> give me a second <clears throat> I do apologize yeah with the queen of wands there they kind of match you in some way there's a uh, uh, an equally yoked there you go it's this equally yoked you're both in this balanced space they match you you match them um, there's someone that just with the king you know this is someone that you know you have to come correct with you can't play no games you've got to make sure you know the moves that you make are are grown um, and you know that in itself is kind of keeping you in your head just a little bit just a little bit because ultimately what you're wanting you recognize that is that Ten of Pentacles, which represents, you know, a relationship. You know, relationship, um, maybe moving in together, that type of thing. You know, long-term, something, establish something with this person, this person who you deem as highly attractive. Highly attractive, a lot of passion, a lot of desire with that Knight of Wands there. And of course, like I said, feeling like you're wanting to establish something with the King of Pentacles, just mirroring that Ten, really. And that in itself makes you happy. Like I said, I feel like for a lot of you, you're just coming from a disappointing dating past or just um, even relationship past. It's like everyone that you've been with or within the last few years, it's just not been really good. You've not had pleasant experiences. Um, so this kind of feels different for you. And they're, they're kind of seeing this in the same way. You know, with temperance card there, there is this... Temperance talks about alignment, balance, uh, being at peace. So they see you as being more, being in alignment with them in some way. And they're definitely thinking about uh, taking a risk on this, taking a risk. This was kind of the recent past. So you guys might move past this already. But yeah, taking a risk on this because there's this recognition that you bring some form of positive positivity into their life. You have some form of positive impact in their world. You bring something to the table ultimately so a decision was made it's like yeah this person this person matches me as well this person is someone that I'd like to I'd like to pursue something with 
you know, grow something with. And with that comes this feeling for them of transformation. I'm not sure where that's coming from. With the three of souls, which represents just disappointment, sometimes fear, but oh. that could be fear or that could be just disappointment in past hurt. Um, and, and yeah, regardless of that, we've got the, the full card there, which talks about taking a risk, um, taking an adventure, you know, the page is this realization of that, it's the realization of that. So again, that could be just a bit of fear there, uh, or just kind of, um, pass her. Yeah. But transformation, that's the most important thing is this feeling of transformation, them changing changing i feel like you're mirroring each other there is this equally yoked type of thing going on regardless of whether they've expressed it or not you're feeling you know emotionally fulfilled by this things are going well you're feeling nice a lot of passion a lot of desire again with that night of wands there but i feel like this this situation this person does something more than just make you feel like justice has been served. I feel like there is this recognition of them without maybe their knowledge as well, them feeding you in some way, them being supportive in some way with you going or seeing that things are starting to turn around in your favor. Things, the wheels are starting to turn around for you just when it comes to relationships. Yeah, this, this, is, this is feeding you. Um, how can I put that? Feeding you supporting you pouring into you this is good this is this is this is a good thing this is a good thing strong physical attraction that you have towards um them with the lover's card um but they're like i said they're they're also kind of mirroring you their focus is on just embracing this opportunity to build something new with you you know there is this awareness that they have. I love the world cards there, which talks about just them seeing the big picture or them seeing in a different way. I feel like this could, you know, this is for some of them. I feel like they could, you both could have gone on similar paths and gone through possibly similar experiences in your past relationship, whether that's dating or actual relationships. Um, could be marriage, marriages for some of you guys. But I feel like this is, is with, with the wild card there, it talks about just seeing um, something more, seeing the bigger picture, seeing they've kind of gone full circle on their perspective on things, on relationships, on life, on maybe just where they were prior to meeting you. There is this pull towards you. Again, we've got that temperance card, which talks about alignment, you know, this strong pull towards you, alignment and a uh, magician card. So there's this belief. Magician card talks about, when we're talking about the magician card, magician has all the tools in the deck, all the tools in the toolbox to make something happen. So there's this level of belief that this can work out. This can work out. Yeah. So they're feeling like victory. There's just a sense of victory. Success. Victor feeling victorious. Um, and just moving forward, just moving ahead, um, being stable, being emotionally, this person is definitely emotionally, um, uh, ready to commit. It's that type of thing. We've got the King of Cups. King of Cups is a very mature, emotionally mature, stable, reliable, loyal card. But again, we still got the free, which talks about just you know, waiting for ships coming in waiting for something to happen. Maybe all the bricks and things. I mean, you're still in the process of this unfolding, this relationship unfolding. So naturally there's going to be that three, that in between until something happens, until things start to evolve into um, more, into more. Like I said, you have a strong attraction towards this person. There is this acknowledgement of maybe an emotional connection, a strong emotional connection being formed or have been for, haven't had been formed with this person already so soon for some of you as well. We've got that four of, of cups. Acknowledging the disappointment 
still having some form of awareness of just the disappointment of what you've come from. You know, sometimes when we're moving out of a place, you know, um, we kind of just have to let go of the residue that is there. And that's kind of a part of it. It's like, okay, you know, I've met someone that's different. I've met someone that I can now move forward with. But I'm still kind of, you know, just letting go. Now I can let go of the disappointment. I can let go of, of what I had come from. You know, willing to put into, willing for some of you as well. This is just for some of you. Willing to put in that work to uh, make sure that you can move through that as well. Stroll up attraction. I love this spread. I love this spread. Usually at this point, we kind of move into part two of the reading where we just kind of expand on this, see where this moves to, see where you both kind of move to, which I will be implementing next week, guys. So look out for that. All right. But as it stands, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. I will be implementing the singles as well shortly, guys. I know I've been saying that, but just bear with me. <laughs> bear with me. Um, other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week. Bye.